having been back from what, 1983, I think, something like something that. Something like that. Yeah, around that period of time. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've had 23 years of courses. Yeah. I and mean, my guys love training with you. They love the. They love actually the the even the the, the idea of the um, spiritual and healing base. And you you, you taught some um, yoga type exercises that you learned from. Uh, Yamaguchi yeah. um, on the course in Czech Republic in 2006. Uh, my guys really love that. Okay, thanks. Uh, it's, um, um, we've had some really good courses, haven't we? The courses have been fantastic, and so I've, I've been made welcome and everything like that. But it's the quality of you know your students, the people who are coming. People come with open mind and a common purpose, mm -hmm. and that is to share and to learn. And that's good to make it the, the family for people to get together. I think it shows something that if you have a, a core value or you work at a certain standard of that mm. and you, you, you pass that on to people, people can see it and that's why they stay. Mm. And people stay and they share and they come along to things. And so it's, it's really wonderful because I, I believe that training and teaching, it goes hand in hand. We, it's, it's together, you need somebody to be working with to improve our own standard. Yeah. So everybody's working together. There's no, no high, no low, everybody's working mm. together. And I feel that's very, very important. And for people to be aware of that, the fact that, you know, life is a breath, you know, we mm. must make the, the, the most mm. of this chance which we have here and to explore all avenues, to look mm. at things and to find something which suits us and which, are, which is good for us. And um, half the time words and actions are seldom consistent. But if you, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. if you, if you find something, and it works, then you should stay with that, stick with that, and explore it and do it to the best of your mm. possibility. When you go into training, I always have this idea of like, you know, train, train is all, train is all adversity is the norm. Yeah. You know, this, 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 is, this is a chance, and ne don't hold back in your training. Yeah. Try to understand it, try to absorb it, because you've got this chance, it's a wonderful chance yeah. and um, to share it. And when, when people come together, and when you do share, and when you are training together, then there is that magic, Bond. Mm. There's something though which is good. It's something which can't be. You can't write about it because mm. you feel it for yourself. That person feels it for that themselves. Mm. And this is what training is. Yeah. As a teacher, it's a door. You just show something, but it's for them to explore further, to look into further. Like yeah. the old Hakuin coin. I lift yeah. one corner of the rug. You've got to go underneath and find out the rest for yourself. So it's all an individual journey. A couple of other things. Okay. <laughs> one, your extraordinary love of music. Ah, oh, right. Yes. Now, okay. Then, I've, yes. <laughs> I've got to say that we always have like a pop quiz between some of the instructors on our summer courses and um, I ruled, I really <laughs> ruled. They would give me a song from 60s, 70s and so on. I knew um, the singer and the song and the year and so on. Um, but Chris, he knows what the singer had for breakfast, what his daughter <laughs> had for breakfast. Yeah, I've got to say, he beat me. Yeah, I've never known anyone with such a, an enormous knowledge and love of music as you, Chris. Where does that come from? I just like music, and I mean, it's signs of a misspent youth, obviously. <laughs> 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 Too many days in smoky bars. <laughs> uh, Tom Waits lament. No, it's, 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 it's something I, I, I grew up with music. I, I have a sister, she's a, um, she's a professional singer. Mm. And uh, just, I've, always, I've always liked music. Do you, do you use music with your training at all? Um, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. Um, what, I, what, I, what I do occasionally is I'll go into, go into a space, wherever, outside in the countryside, wherever, do stuff. And sometimes it's just the, the, the natural music of like either the rivers or the wind sailing yeah. through the trees and stuff like that. Yeah. And I, t I tend to find stuff in that. Yeah. Um, every, everything we have is all around us. Yeah. Everything we need is all around us. Yeah. Yet so many people miss it. And mm. it, it, it literally is there. And it's just a case of like, you know, just, whoa, just take that time, just take that moment to breathe in and yeah. let it go and then look. I spend a lot of time in nature because I've got two two dogs and you have to walk those. Well, you've, you've got two dogs I've as well. I've got two dogs as well. Dogs are them. wonderful. Yeah, and you, you, know, you take, take them for a good walk out into the woods and nature. And I'm always amazed at the amount of people that are taking their dog for a walk wearing an iPod. Uh, and I just think, yeah. that, uh, or jogging um, out wearing an iPod. You know, there they are in parks, woods, rivers, streams. 
Uh, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, and this is this is where we get where we get our energy from. Mm. We get our energy from the earth. We get our but energy. From. I must confess, that I do like a bit of music and training together. It's well, nice. yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the thing is, what I normally tend to do is like once it's all finished, then then the music gets ratched up. <laughs> it, it, it's mad, but I'm yeah. Gay man. <laughs> yeah, dear, it's all good fun. The other thing um, I was thinking about, Chris, is you're never going to be rich. No, I, no, no, I've, I've, come to the, I've come to that conclusion myself. <laughs> yeah. um, I think that uh, <laughs> the, way that you, the, the way that you seriously practice your karate, the deep spiritual aspect that you have within your training, um, the seriousness within which you take it as well. I, you've got a great sense of humour, but there's also that serious yeah. side in your training. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think you're ever going to be rich. <laughs> Having said that, I, I do feel that you've got a lot to give in martial arts, and I think that you know there, there is something quite unique in the experiences that you've had. Where where do you see yourself going from here? Well, I'd like to remain healthy mm. and to be able to teach. I'd like to be able to teach and show you know what modicum of experience I've had onto others, so that they can be exposed to that and utilize it utilize it if they wish to. Um, I think that's very, very important. I think it's important also to be able to try and show some values, some decent mm. values. And um, I feel that through, it's a journey. The martial arts is a journey. And so it's open to anybody. Mm. And people come from different desperate situations, but they can all come to a table. They can all come to a table. And th this journey, if you go by bus, it'll take you so long. If you go by plane, it's a lot quicker. If you go by, if you go by canoe, it takes, even longer but the problem is is how much do you see on the way when you go those various modes of transport yeah. now, the mode of transport you choose is an individual's choice mm. and what they can get from that is an individual's choice mm. but if you can get some pointers and some guidance like as a compass point well look at that please be careful of the terrain which you're going through mm. yeah uh, i think that's important and so i see my role mainly is continue to, to to teach to train myself to be able to pass on some of these things and hopefully for them to be able to be, be useful for other people. As I said before, it's really is to preserve and to try and um, practice and propagate what, what my teacher taught me. Mm. I take that quite seriously. Mm. That doesn't mean to say that I know everything, not at all. I know a fraction, I know a fraction, but at least knowing a fraction is something. Mm. I'd like to thank you very much for coming along. No, Chris. no, th thank you and um, thank you as well to have the opportunity to share some thoughts and to spread some things is great. I'd like to close by, as I said before, I've probably said it, but uh, it's important to me, um, thanking all my teachers mm. who've helped me to get there. And um, I wish you all peace and good training. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you.